What's up, Bay Area? I'm Jonathan Bloom here with your local athlete tracker for Wednesday as the tournaments of the Tokyo Olympics heat up and a lot of Bay Area athletes are just one win away from those final gold medal matches. First in water polo, the team with five Bay Area men took on the undefeated team from Spain in a late night quarterfinal on Tuesday. Spain pulled ahead in the fourth quarter to win. Now the Americans have to win their next game to stay alive. Meanwhile, the women, including three from the Bay Area, head to the semifinals against the Russians for a midnight showdown, actually 11.30 on Wednesday night. If they win, that could put them in the gold medal game, which has extra meaning for Maggie Steffens. She just broke the Olympic career scoring record, 48 points and counting. And it was watching her older sister lose that final game in 2008 that galvanized her to become a gold medalist herself. Watching the heartbreak of that gold medal game kind of fueled my fire as well. You know, I'll never forget my dad and I were, were next to each other after that game and we looked at each other and it was kind of like, all right, like now it's your turn. In volleyball, the journey is over for the men, eliminated early for the first time since 2000. The women, including Stanford grad Feluca Akinradowo, were favored to win going into a quarterfinal against the Dominican Republic late Tuesday night and they pulled it off three sets to nothing. Team USA was not at full strength. There are three women named Jordan on this team, and now two of them have gone out with ankle injuries. But Feluca's done this before. She's a three-time Olympian. She told USA Volleyball she's asking her teammates to trust each other and said, we know our good is good enough. They now advance to the semifinals later this week. Baseball also played the Dominican Republic on Tuesday, with Giants pitcher Scott Casimir taking the mound for the first time in these Olympics. He helped earn the Americans a 3-1 to one victory. Now this was win or go home for Team USA, and with the win, the gold medal dream stays alive. The Dominicans will play for bronze while the Americans advance to the semifinals. In basketball, Team USA heads into a tough semifinal matchup. After a rocky start to the games, the team with Draymond Green and Damian Lillard will face off with the undefeated Australians for a primetime game Wednesday at 9.15. The winner of that game will go on to play for the gold. And in beach volleyball, they're becoming a primetime mainstay. Alex and April are back Wednesday at 5 for their semifinal match against Switzerland. As we approach the middle of this final week in Tokyo, a few local athletes have reached the end of the road for these Olympic Games. Stanford gymnast Brody Malone just barely missed earning a medal on the high bar where he came in fourth. And the artistic swimming duo of Alvarez and Schroeder almost made it. They placed 13th in the qualifying round. Only the top 12 advanced to the finals. But a medal could be in the cards for Stanford runner Grant Fisher. There he is right near the front of the pack. Early Tuesday morning, he finished eighth in the men's 5K, and that's good enough. He qualified to compete in the finals on Friday. The games are getting into high gear, and we are here for it. Check out our local athlete tracker blog for all the latest as the Bay Area's long road to Olympic glory rounds the final bend in Tokyo.